The role of teachers is already undeniable in our society. But even with their status, another teacher in Kenya is even taking it far by donating 80% of his income to the well-being of his students. Peter Tabichi is a Kenyan science teacher who teaches both mathematics and physics at the Keriko Secondary School in one of the remote places in Kenya. Many students in this area face different challenges like farming and drought, trekking miles to the school every day, lack of school uniforms and others. All these have resulted in students dropping out from the school and have caused an increase in early marriages among the girls. As an agent of change, Tabichi decided to donate 80% of his salary for the well-being of his suffering students. And not only that, he also goes to the houses of some of the students asking what problems the students might be facing. Also, Tabichi used to conduct one-on-one -on -one teaching for any student who deserve such. This action has helped to revive the ones dying educational system in the area as the number of enrollments in the school had doubled in three years, with girl students doing great. In fact, some of his students have qualified for national competition in Kenya at times more than one. In 2019, in the gold city of Dubai, Tabichi was crowned as the best teacher in the world for his service to educational system and well-being of his students back in Kenya. This award also came with a prize money of 1 million US dollars and even the Kenya president congratulated and gave accolades to Tabichi for making the continent proud. So, this is the story of Peter Tabichi, a teacher who has proved to us that being a teacher requires more than just holding the chalk and writing on the chalkboard. Indeed, the teachers are doing more than what the society recognizes them to be. And this made me to remind a popular saying in my language which says, it is only God that can reward the teachers accordingly, for they are the ones who reshape the destinies of many people who might have become something else. And that exactly what defines the case of Peter Tabichi.